So ladies and gentlemen, this is, I'm going to go through and show you how to get these set up. I'm not going to actually calculate the answers with you, just how to get these set up. So when we're working with molarity, you need to remember that molarity, capital M, is equal to moles of the solute divided by how many liters? So in simple terms, it's moles divided by liters. Group three, in this problem, we've got a, let's see what we got here. What is the molarity? So we are looking for molarity, and I'm just gonna put that that is mole over liter. I'm gonna circle this just to remind you that's probably a good way to work through these. Of a solution in which you have 58 grams of NaCl are dissolved in this much water. We can convert this into moles. So that's gonna be one of the first steps you're gonna to have to do. They're giving you the liters. So to get this thing set up, we need to, well, I'm gonna say capital M is equal to moles over liters. Well, moles are gonna be 58 grams of NaCl. I'm gonna put that over one. And you need to multiply or divide by the molar mass of salt to change this into moles. What do you need to do? You need to divide, and the, what is the molar mass of salt? It happens to be 58 grams of NaCl is one mole. So now at this point, the grams of NaCl cancel out. And let's see, so we've effectively, can, well, that's gonna be one, that's an easy one on there. Then we've gotta dissolve it by one liter. You can do that a couple of ways. You can just come back over here to your given and just put one liter. Or if you don't like that, you can say, okay, we're gonna divide it. I'm gonna put one over the number of liters, one liter. Either way will work. It turns out, well, that's a pretty straightforward one. Number two, we are looking for molarity. Hey, have I mentioned to you to always put the base equation of whatever you're looking for? Don't be afraid to do that. Molarity is moles over liter. That's what we're looking for in here. So just like the last problem, they're giving us a certain number of grams of the material. We can convert that into moles. 500 milliliters. How many liters does that turn out to be? It's going to be 0.5 liters. So with this one, we're just going to get it set up. We're going to start with our given 10 grams of silver nitrate, NO3. I'm going to put that over one. What is the molar mass for silver nitrate? I'm assuming you all had to figure that out. What is it? How many grams of silver nitrate is one mole of silver nitrate? I'm hearing 170 or 175. 170. 170. 170 grams of AgNO3. Look at here. Now you can cancel that. You set that up right in case you're not sure. And now we just need to divide it by 0.5. I'm just going to go ahead and make this 0.5 liters. And now... 10 divided by 0.5 divided by 170 will give you your answer. And that's, we're looking again for molarity. Now the answer, you can put capital M or you can have the answer in moles per liter because that is what this is. Now we've got a little uh, different one here. Got to think of this a little different way. You're looking for how many grams of KNO3, group five. How many, um, how, what's the base equation for this unit, for, for this question? What do we have, what's the equation we need to use to start with? We'll have to rearrange it, but what is it? What is our base equation on all these problems? Okay, capital M is equal to moles over liters. Now, in this problem, we know that you've got 0.5 molar. That's given to us. You know that you have two liters, two liters. So we can rearrange this equation to get moles, and then we can convert it into... So if we want to get this rearranged, we need to, let's see, we need to get the L out of the bottom. I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by L. We know that that is 2 liters. I'll just say 2 liters here. Okay, the L's will cancel out. So moles is going to be equal to liters times molarity. And let's see, so what is, we got 2 liters times 0.5. Now I'm going to put mole over liter. I recommend you do that when you're doing these problems. And when we work that out, you're going to end up with having the number of moles of this chemical here. But we're not done because we're looking for grams. So I'm just going to leave it. So at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and just continue this on. What is the molar mass for potassium nitrate? Because that's what we're working with here. This is moles of KNO3. 
What's the molar mass for potassium nitrate? Because we need to convert this into grams. One mole of KNO3. What did you all get, everybody? I'm hearing 101. Can I get a thumbs up from anybody in this class? Okay, good. I think looks like 101 grams of excuse me, potassium nitrate. So in this problem, you're going to be doing, looks like 2 times 0.5 times 101 will give you whatever your answer is going to be on that one. Number four, volume. In molarity equals moles over liter. Volume is L. So you're looking for L in this problem. I'm just going to rearrange this equation first off because you know I just think it's easier instead of moving numbers. Let's get the L out of the bottom of this by multiplying both sides by L. And oh, we got to get um, molarity. So it turns out liters will be equal to moles divided by molarity. You've got, uh, let's see, how many moles? Oh, okay, you're going to have to figure out starting with 5 grams of KCl. What's the molar mass for potassium chloride, everybody? Okay. I'm hearing 74. Do I get anybody else that when you were working through these? I got a, one thumbs up. Only two people did this problem so far. See, chlorine is 35 grams per mole, and because I want to make sure, let's see, because, uh, let's see, potassium is 39. So everybody, what's 39 plus 35? Okay, 74. So let, now, do we need to divide by 74 or multiply by 74? We want to get rid of grams, we want to turn it into moles, right? So what do we need to do? Dividing by the molar mass or multiplying by the molar mass? I'm going to divide by the molar mass, which you all said was 74 grams of KCl is one mole. So at this point now, we've, we've done this. We've converted this to moles. All we need to do now is divide it by the molarity. I'm just going to put one over. The molarity was 0.25 moles per liter. And then you'll get your answer. So on these, a lot of these problems, you need to you're going to be given everything. You just might have to convert back and forth between grams. Lastly, how many grams? So we're looking for grams. Chances are you're going to have to find moles first. Needed to prepare. How many liters is there in 100 milliliters? 0 0.1 liter. And so I'm going to start here with molarity is moles over liters. We are given... 0.1, we are given 0.1. We want to get moles by itself. We need to multiply both sides of the equation by the, the liters here, which was 0.1. See, those will cancel out. What's 0.1 times 0 0.1? 0 .01. So that'll come out to be 0 0.01. And let's see, um, that's going to be liters per mole. That's going to be the number of moles. Now all you got to do, and that's going to be, wow, that's going to be of copper sulfate pentahydrate, meaning five molecules. So now you just need to find the molar mass. You want to, it looks like you want to multiply by the molar mass of that. And that's how you'd set up that problem. I'm not going to give you the calculations. What was the question? The black dot, is that like, it's telling you to multiply which black, which black dot are you talking about? Okay, so the question is, we didn't get into this in this class, but in honors chemistry and AP chemistry, a lot of times these compounds, these salts, they'll absorb a little bit of water. And when they do, they call them a hydrate. And copper sulfate, very commonly, one molecule of copper sulfate will attract five molecules of water. So that would be pronounced copper sulfate um, pentahydrate. Did that answer your question? Yeah. Okay, so it's not so much times, it just means, hey, it's hanging out there.